Hi learners and welcome to today's video where we are asking the question, why do we collect data? Now in order to understand that, we need to take a step back and just understand the term data handling. Now this refers to the process of collecting, organizing, displaying and analyzing data. Now from CAT, we already understand that data refers to raw facts. Okay, This is also known as statistics. So for those who are going to do stats after school, <laughs> yeah, this is what we're talking about. This is also known as statistics and is all about collecting and summarizing data or those raw facts or information from the world around us. Okay, so that's data handling. So then why, oh, why do we bother collecting data? Like, why would we do this? <laughs> Poor cat, right? Well, at least I think it's a cat. Yeah. <laughs> why would we be doing that? Well, let's look at the purpose of collecting data. The simple reason is to form conclusions or to make predictions about the topic that's under analysis. Okay. In other words, if you need to decide what you want to know and why you want to know it, then you will collect data around it. So when you have a question, you need to collect data in order to form a conclusion or to get your answer. So this is why we do this. Now, the entire statistical process begins with posing a question. So we start over here, we pose a question. Uh, maybe it's a group of questions, but that's where we start. And after analyzing it, um, you know, we would then begin to pick up various trends. We would begin to perhaps even be able to make certain predictions, maybe regarding the market or a particular product or things like that. But you can see it all begins with asking a question, then collecting the data that we receive from those questions. We then analyze that data we've received and then interpret it. Now, what is important is the fact that one part of the process will have a direct impact on the other parts of the process. And even with that, one part of the process is also meaningless without the rest of the process. So imagine posing a question, collecting the data that you receive. You don't analyze it. So how can you interpret it? It's still just a bunch of raw facts. You haven't analyzed it or processed that to be able to interpret it. Okay? Or you do all of this and you don't even interpret it. Or you try and do any of this, but you don't even pose a question. Okay? So please remember, one part of the process has a direct impact on the other. And one is also meaningless without the other. So the main purpose of collecting the data in the first place was to answer a question. Remember this? posing the question, right? So the main purpose is to answer a question. And as such, once the data has been analyzed, conclusions, they need to be drawn and the initial question needs to be answered. This is why once we collect the data, analyze it and interpret it, you might wonder, well, why is that arrow pointing back to posing a question? The interpretation of the data then allows us to answer the question that was posed in the first place, right? And this grade 10s, I think, and grade 11s is why we collect data.